Welcome to Ancient Tales by Kanala Channel, where we keep tales alive and forever. Episode 6 Top Notch Historian Lady of Thailand, Lady Sirikitya Jensen. Her former name was Mai Jensen, later on was changed to Sirikitya Jensen. Her name Sirikitya is the originally given by Her Majesty the Queen Mother, Somdet Pranang Chao Sirikit Prabaromarachini Nath, Prabaromarachachonani Panpi Luang, or Somdet Yai. Her Majesty the Queen Mother Sirikit is the Queen Ramanai, who is also the mother of King Ramaten. Lady Sirikitya Jensen was born on the 18th of March 1985 in San Diego, USA. She is the youngest daughter of Her Royal Highness Ubon Ratrachaganya, Siri Watana Panawadi and Mr. Peter La Jensen. She is by birthright a granddaughter of King Ramanai and also a niece of King Ramaten. She has one sister and one brother, Lady Ploy Pailin Jensen and Lord Pum Jensen. Lady Sirikitya Jensen is a very shy and pretty straightforward person. She speaks well Thai even she doesn't have an opportunity to use it much before. She loves traveling and visiting the new places. She is in love with a drama series called Mahasik Ching Balang. She is interested in history and art impressionist and always study for more from a lot of museums since she was studying in New York University. She also loves jogging, bicycling, and swimming, especially swimming. She used to be socialized and no exercising at all until she falls in love with swimming. She said, nothing is easy to get. You can't buy a healthier life. You must earn it yourself. Lady Sri Kitiya Jensen was born and raised in San Diego, USA. She started her primary and secondary school at Ernst Warren Junior High School and Torrey Pines High School accordingly. In 1998, her parents got divorced. Her Royal Highness mother, Ubon Ratrachaganya Sri Watana Pannawadi, went back to Thailand along with Lord Pum Jensen, her brother. But Lady Sri Kitiya Jensen herself still lived with her father, Mr. Peter La Jensen in San Diego, until her graduation in 2000. Later on, Lady Ploy Pailin Jensen, who is the elder sister, moved back to San Diego to complete a bachelor degree in the University of California. Meanwhile, Lady Sirikitya Jensen started her bachelor degree at the University of California Riverside and decided to move to New York alone later to complete her study in history of Eastern Asia there. She used to mention that I chose to study in history of Eastern Asia because I am exclusively interested in those countries, especially China and Japan, and I know that I was not that intelligent or expert much, so I had to be very disciplined while studying to ensure that every penny spent on my tuition fee was counted and of course, I could get a good job to do in the future. Then a terrible incident happened on the 26th of December 2004. Lady Sirikitya Jensen was in Kaulak, Panga province with her elder brother, Lord Pum Jensen, and her royal highness mother, Ubon Ratrachaganya, Sri Watana Pannawadi. During the time that she was swimming, suddenly there was a tsunami hit the whole seashore of Kaulak due to an earthquake in Indian Ocean. She was frightened and scared. She also was dragged by the hit until the pine tree stopped her. She held on to it until it was safe. Unfortunately, her brother Lord Pum Jensen did not make it to survive as her. Thereby, she lost her big brother from this tragedy. Lady Sri Kitiya Jensen is a Buddhist. She shared that Buddhism does not mean just to pray or ask for what you want, then you will get it. But you must earn it yourself with conscious dedications. After graduation, she was working as an intern for the Japanese designer called Yoji Yamamoto and also Joy Hermes brand. She said she really needed to use her creativity, which the fashion industry would match very well. Later on, she opened a lot of advertisement websites as a freelancer. Meanwhile, she also had an interest in history and became a storekeeper of the Metropolitan Art Museum, which inspired her the most since she was still working with Hermes. After she came back to Thailand, she started to work as an intern again for the section of Conservation Studies, Architectural Art at Grom Silapagon or Fine Arts Department, where later she had been promoted to become a government officer level 3 as a language artist who takes care of the operations in the Department of Architecture and History. In 2017, Lady Sri Kitiya Jensen was in charge of the Royal Crematorium, Pramerumat Construction, for the corpse of King Ramanai during the Royal Cremation Ceremony as one of his courtiers 
and in 2018, she was also a director of Wang Na Nimit Project, where it was shown at exhibitions in Bawan Sathan Mongkon Palace as a visual language style. She stated that Wang Na Nimit Project is exhibited from her intention to simplify Thailand history for the new generations to understand it better and easier. History knowledge is something we can talk about in daily life, not a rocket science at all. Lady Sri Kitiya Jensen had also another project enhancing the history studies, such as in July 2018, she went down to the southern part of Thailand, Songkla, and visited a lot of historical sites, for example, National Museum at Songkla, Khao Tang Guan, Got Yaw, Taksin Case Study Institute, Wat Mashima Wat, Usasana Islamic Mosque. These researches were meant to make Songkla become one of the World Heritage Sites very soon. Also on the 6th to the 28th of April 2019, Lady Sri Kitya Jensen, together with Miss Natalie Butang and Miss Mary Pansanga, they were doing a co project called Wang Na Narumit in the concept of timeline dimension, transform the past to become a glimpse of the present, Nairanab Nok in 6-2, at Isara Chai Tron Hall, Bangkok National Museum, to study about Bawon's Tan Mongkon Palace by adding up the list of 20 more rewarded artists, including one of the choirs, music choral organizations, to perform at the exhibitions as well. Recently, on the 1st to the 9th of February 2020, Lady Sri Kitya Jensen had another history exhibition called A Hundred Years Between, which was telling us about her own journey to Norway. Inspired by royal traveling of King Rama V, King Jurajong Klao Zhao Yuhua himself, for the celebrations of 115 years anniversary of the relationship between Thailand and Norway. Ladies and gentlemen, on the 7th of May 2019, King Rama X, King Vashira Klao Zhao Yuhua, had a royal command to give Lady Sri Kitya Jensen the royal decoration of inside sections to Tia Churajom Klao Viset, and also King Rama X Ratanapon Royal Medal Level 2. Since then, it has made her become an official noble rank as Lady or Tan Puying. That is why we press her Lady Sri Kitya Jensen, top-notch historian lady of Thailand. Thank you once again for watching Ancient Tales by Kanala, where we keep tales alive and forever. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We look forward to seeing you all again. Bye for now and have a good day.